name is Kathleen McGivern and I am Ms. Artastic and my friend. Today we are going to be diving in on some social emotional learning. So, um, well, here's the thing. So I was scrolling through Twitter, you know, usually I like to dooms scroll or doom scroll uh, when I just need some like deep, like debriefing time or just like, you know, some downtime. I just like to doom scroll for fun. I don't know why. But while I was doing that, I was noticing that lately, I mean, a lot of people are advocating for just um, some different ways to go back into the new year um, at the time of recording this. It is January 2nd, and teachers, of course, are going back to the classroom with this whole looming Omicron situation. And of course, it's different everywhere. Everyone has different opinions, and that's totally cool. What I'm thinking is that we, again, start the new year um, with some mindfulness. And this is, of course, both for students and for staff. Um, And in an easy way. I know teachers are feeling anxious, they're not really sure what to do, what to expect, and the same is for students and districts as well. And so I just started thinking like, what did I do when I had a whole, you know, when my class was really anxious? And this was like pre-pandemic and during the pandemic that I would do this. And so I started thinking back and reflecting and I thought, mindful art starts. And so I just stopped everything and today created um, both this blog post and podcast episode. And in addition, I created a full free resource that you can print. So you'll get this whole thing as a beautifully formatted lesson, full lesson plan that you can just print out so you don't even have to plan. (laughs) Um, And it includes some worksheets and it's all free. um, And there's a listing to it in the show notes of this blog post and in the description of this podcast episode. You'll be able to click it there um, if you just look at the description of the episode. Anyways, and it's a full free uh, lesson to go match this. So basically I've taken all what I'm about to say and I've put it into a totally easy to use resource for you. So let's dive in on this episode. We're gonna talk about social emotional learning. We're gonna talk about my new thing that I decided to create for today. I stopped everything and created Mindful Art Starts. Mindful Art Starts. Nope, that's not what it's called. (laughs) It's called Mindful Art Moments. Oh my goodness. Mindful Art Moments. Sorry, I'm having a brain moment because I've just created all this new resource and then blog posts and now I'm podcasting it. Sorry. Mindful Art Moments. M-A-M. Ma'am. I don't really like that acronym, but Mindful Art Moments. Anywho, let's get on into this episode. You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. All right, so social emotional learning allows students to explore and express their thoughts and feelings. Instead of ignoring what is lying below the surface, Teachers can provide students with opportunities for self-exploration, expression, and understanding in a safe way. One beautiful and easy way we can bring social-emotional learning, so S-E-L, into a classroom is through art. In this whole episode, I'm going to be diving in on a process I like to call mindful art moments that allows educators to create an atmosphere of peace, empowerment and discovery with little to no art mediums and planning. Grab a pencil and let's make some art. So before we really dive in on to what mindful art moments are, we gotta talk about what is social emotional learning, S-E-L. So social emotional learning, or as I'm gonna be calling it from now on, S-E-L, is the process of development of self-awareness, exploration, and understanding of thoughts and feelings, self-control, exploration, and the understanding of identity and interpersonal skills that are valuable for both teaching the whole child mind and body, but are essential for learning and being able to learn. And then eventually, a career in art. 
SEL helps students better understand and identify their emotions, understand their emotions, and then of course, will help them recognize this in others. It will allow them to build empathy and develop and maintain healthy relationships with others. So what are mindful art moments? Mindful art moments are beautiful art activities that require little prep and can be done at any time of day and allow students to silently sketch while becoming aware of the moment and fall into a world of self-awareness. They are activities where all you need to do is ask your students to get something to draw with and something to draw on. With our Mindful Art Moments, MAMs, you are setting up an environment in your classroom that is calm, safe, quiet, and peaceful. And then allow your students to create, draw, make, build for 10 to 15 minutes without saying anything. That is it. No prompts, no instructions beyond silently sketch or make art. It is simple, it is beautiful, and provides any human of any age an opportunity to sit and draw. The magic? Well, if you've ever sat down and drawn, you'll know that when you draw, you're immediately required to dive on in your imagine, into your imagination for ideas and thoughts and inspiration. It is hard to make art without diving deep into one's thoughts and feelings. The act of sitting and focusing on the moment through drawing is a natural invitation to let these feelings or our ideas and our thoughts flow in like a soft trickle that develops into a stream against the curbside in a rainstorm. It always starts with a few drops of rain, and then, as time passes, the drops accumulate into volumes. And this is often an uncomfortable feeling. It is important as educators to let students ease into this process. I often would notice that students were reluctant to participate in the activity at the beginning. Some would sit, stare at paper, and do nothing, which was fine. Maybe that was what they needed in that moment. I am sure they were still participating in being mindful or listening to their thoughts at some level. They were not doing nothing. As you do with this more and more, usually by the third session, you'll have noticed a shift in your classroom where students actively and immediately engage with the activity in their own way, each embarking on their own adventure of self-awareness. All, and all it really takes is for an educator to dim the lights, turn on soft background music, and provide students with something to draw on and something to draw with. So here's the lesson plan. And do not worry. You do not need to take any notes at this time. You don't need to write a single thing down because I have already gone ahead and made it into a resource you can download. So... Again, you can find this whole downloadable, printable um, lesson plan, all of what I just said. You can find all that, including some handouts and everything else. All of that is going to be available in the downloadable printable, which you can get with the link that's in the description of this podcast episode. Or you can find it in my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Ms. Artastic. Or you can find it on the blog post show notes at MsArtastic.com. Also, the link will be in this description of this podcast episode. Anyway, don't write anything down. I got your back is what I'm saying. And it's already formatted. It's beautiful. Anyway. So here's the lesson plan for Mindful Art Moments Social Emotional Learning Art Lesson. Lesson Description. Students will participate in a social emotional learning activity that will allow them to have an opportunity to be self-aware and explore their thoughts, feelings, and ideas through visual art. This is a choice-based activity where students will choose what to create and what to create with. And it is about the learning process and self-awareness and not necessarily about the end product. This can be done with any age. Before the lesson, have have students or 
have available something to draw on. So your job is to find and provide something to draw on, or you can also choose to provide something to draw with, or you can choose to let students use what they have brought with them or have available in their pencil boxes. So you can make this as complicated and as simple as you'd like. You can even just show up and put on music and you provide the paper and students just grab whatever or use whatever they have on hand. Ideas for something to draw on. So these are just suggestions and you can choose to pick and make it again as complicated or as simple as you'd like. Post-it notes, paper, colored paper, cardstock, watercolor paper, construction paper, a sketchbook, a journal, large paper, small paper, whiteboards, poster boards, cue cards, on bookmarks, on top of pages out of old books, etc. Ideas for something to draw with. A pencil, pen, scissors, an eraser, paintbrush, and paint, either watercolor or temper paint cakes to make it easy, oil pastels, soft pastel, chalk, whiteboard markers, felt markers, wax crayons, pencil crayons, colored pencils, or if you want to do this outside, you could even take some sidewalk chalk and head outdoors onto the asphalt. Set up the environment. So you're going to have something to draw on available and something to draw with. It is if it is avail oh, sorry, if it's beyond what they have in their pencil box. You're going to dim your classroom lights or turn them off and turn on some lamps. You're going to turn on a soft music playlist on YouTube or Spotify or your favorite music player or Here's one that I love, is that you can turn on a live stream video of animals or eagles or even an aquarium on explore.org. So now we're going to start the lesson. One, begin the lesson. In a calm voice, explain that we are going to do a mindful art moment. We are going to draw and make art calmly silently. We will draw anything that comes to mind. Whatever idea, thought, or emotion you have, put it onto your paper in any way you want. Use any art medium you would like to use to express your thoughts, feelings, or ideas. We are not going to talk. We are not going to worry about what we create or what our friends are creating. We are going to focus on ourselves, becoming self-aware, and a simple moment and a simple way to enjoy this beautiful art-making moment. This is a safe place, and we are going to be respectful of the art and ideas of ourselves and that of others. Just do your best and enjoy this mindful art moment. Two, teacher instructs students to select something to draw on and something to draw with. Three, when students are seated with their art making supplies, teacher guides students through mindful breathing before they begin. We are going to do a few deep breaths to relax before we make art. Take a deep breath in and slowly exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale one more time and slowly exhale. Four. We are now going to begin our mindful art moment. Please remember that this is a calm, safe, and respectful environment. We are going to make art silently for blank minutes. And this is where you can write in how long you'd like to do that for, either 10, 15, or whatever is age appropriate. Five. 
teacher dims lights if hasn't already, turns on music or a live cam, and then participates in the activity themselves to model self awareness and silent sketching. Six. After blank minutes, teacher stops music and simply says, Thank you for participating in a mindful art moment. Seven. Teacher leads a whole class discussion. What did you learn through this process? How did you feel before? What do you feel now? Or how do you feel now? What was happening within you when you were silently making art? What did you notice during this activity? What did you learn about yourself today? Extend the learning after you build a routine. So after you build a routine of doing this process, right, it's going to take a few times for students to really accept the vulnerability and that uncomfortable feeling, right? Because it's, it's, it's uncomfortable when you're doing something that's vulnerable and sometimes drawing or being mindful or meditating, that is kind of a vulnerable moment, right? And it's not, it's not very easy for everyone to be vulnerable. So we have to take time and practice it and make it a routine. They have to have that trust knowing that it is safe. So after you build that routine, you can try to extend it. So maybe after, maybe you can have your students teach this activity to a little buddy class. Perhaps they can write a mindful art prompt themselves or design an art piece from a collection of their sketches or base the experience on what they or sorry an, an artwork that's based on the experience or what they have learned about themselves maybe they can research a thought or feeling that occurs often uh, during these moments to further their self-discovery and awareness maybe students can write journals or reflections on the experience of what they felt maybe you try doing this outside on the field on the playground Maybe they lie under a table or a desk and draw with flashlights. Have fun and let your students come up with some ideas too. So mindful art moment prompts. So after you build a routine of this, you can then try introduce some prompts to build into the activity. And these are just ideas and you can extend it on your own as well or even invite kids to have some ideas as as well. So prompt ideas. Draw the thoughts that come in your mind during the mindful art moment. Draw what you're feeling right now. Draw something that makes you happy. Draw something from your culture. Create an artwork that shows who you are, so your identity. Create a master doodle page of all the things you love. Draw things that make you feel anxious or worried. Draw something that makes you feel calm and safe. And of course, your ideas here. And again, you can download this whole lesson plan for free. It's all formatted and you can grab it as a free downloadable and printable in the description of the show notes. So that's how it is. I would, of course, love to hear your feedback for how this goes. So if you download it out of my Teachers Pay Teacher store, please, 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 first, follow my store. I would greatly appreciate that. And... Also, leave a review, leave some feedback for me. Let me know how it goes and functions in your classroom. It's a freebie, so just try it out, see how it goes. Um, there's no strings attached other than just enjoy it and try it. See, I just, I know that it worked for me really, really, really well with lots of different grades and ages from high school into elementary because I, I used to start off as a high school teacher and then of course went <laughs> down in grades as the years went on and loved it of course we all we all start off teaching at, thinking oh I'm gonna be teaching this grade for the rest of my life and that's never really how the how it works <laughs> I know so many high school people who ended up in elementary and vice versa it's fun that way anywho I hope you, I sincerely hope that you try this um, anytime during any period of the future, uh, whether it's um, just a time when kids are feeling rather anxious or maybe it's back from a break, maybe it's the beginning of the year, maybe it's the, the first week of school at back to school, whatever it is, I hope you embrace this and try it often, maybe once a month, 
a couple times a week, doesn't matter. Just feel that beautiful freedom to create art. This is Kathleen McGivern, Misertastic, signing out.